Welcome to the Bourbon Van, I'm Phil. I'm Julie. We're still here. <laughs> All right, same place, different sample this week. We are tasting something from, the bees are still here. The bees are still here, if you watched last week's episode. <laughs> uh, this is a big thank you to somebody we haven't seen this season yet. This is Tim crazy. Tim from Mississippi. Tim from Mississippi. Thank you so much for the sample, as always. And we are going to nose the glass, take five sips, say whether or not we like it, say what we think it is, and then it will be revealed. And let's get right to the nose here. Ooh, this smells different. This is the season of Julie's confusion. And I don't want to be wrong on this one. I mean, not brand wrong, just like what it is wrong. It smells nice. It smells kind of like some medicine. It does have a very medicinal, almost like Band-Aid smell to it. Yeah, a little bit. It's funky. Like, and not it, yes. like earth funky. It's like me not yeah, it's medicinal, herbal. like herbal, herbal funky. funky. Let's get to the uh, tasting here. Are you ready? Yeah, let's start the weekend. Cheers. Oh boy. Oh, this, do you know when you walk into a spice shop? Yep. And like all, there's like a hundred different kinds of spices. Yep. This tastes like curry. Tastes like when you walk, like when you get that into your mouth, the there's spice so shop. There's so much clove here. There's so much uh, star anise. Holy smokes, this is crazy. <laughs> Kudos, Tim. This is yeah. an interesting one. All right, sip two. Cinnamon, clove. Wow, this is all spices, which makes me think it has to be a rye this week. It has to be. <laughs> yeah, there's no way this isn't a rye. Ooh, wow, but, this is weird. And white sugar. There's a lot of sugar. There's a sugar and spice about this. It's like very, everything this else. This is Christmas time. Yeah, everything else kind of dissipates. It is, it is Christmas spices. You're right. Like almost like ginger cookies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ginger, absolutely. Wow. I can't. I'm gonna be real honest here, guys. I kind of want this tasting to be over with. Oh no! This is not at all my preferred flavor profile. No, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Sip three? Yeah, let's do this. All right, taking a little one. This is definitely the kind of drink that I find so interesting. But again, when you find things that are like really out of the box, they're not something you can drink every day. Like this has a, a purpose of the holidays. Super unusual whiskey. And that's about it. Like, you're, yeah. you know. We just tried a whiskey recently that was holiday-tastic flavor-wise, yeah. and it was a rye, the Senator single barrel barrel proof which was terrific for some reason that christmas flavor hit my palate perfectly wow this one not not doing that this is cookies and maple like maple syrup there is some maple showing up and ginger and clove and cinnamon and and a lot of spices yeah. i said curry at the beginning because i think that's the prevailing scent you get when you walk into a spice maybe not but like it's Kind of taste I, I associate that with the, the anise flavor, the star anise. Yeah. An anise, whatever. Wow, so interesting. Sip four? Yeah. It even smells like dough now. It yeah. smells like a, like. I'm not gonna say that I hate wow. this, but this is definitely not hitting my palate. <laughs> the maple, the maple is actually a redeeming quality here. Yeah. That's, that's helping me hang in there on this glass. Wow. What's interesting about this one, it doesn't have like a, a long finish or anything. It's a very short finish, but yeah. the flavors are so spice-tastic. There's, there's a real intensity here. And and it, it is unique, it is interesting, and yes, we don't want every whiskey to taste the same because otherwise what would be the fun in collecting them exactly. and Exactly, yeah. Wow, this, wow. I feel like this is like, you melted down sugar, added in like your cinnamon and spices, and then just started drinking it. This almost tastes like, uh, when you're watching the uh, Muppet Christmas Carol and they're at Fozzie Wig's party and everybody's drinking punch. Yeah. I think that I think that Fozzie Wig's punch Ooh. would taste like this. It's almost like a glog. It's a little glog like without the red wine. Without a uh, and fig. So there's no real figness <laughs> of this. Anyway, it's interesting. Sip five. Let's Sip find five. out what this is. Let's, yeah, here we go. I'm trying to think like I know there's a lot of oak in here. I mean, I don't know if there's a lot of oak, but like I'm trying to bring out some of those like more bourbony flavors, like so oak would be involved in that. There is a hint of like 
a forest. Maybe it's just because I'm in the forest. But yeah. There's something, it's very fresh, it's very lively, intense, it, herbal, spicy, all that stuff. It, it almost feels right here at the campground, yeah. like a little like toasty, campfirey. Um, Maybe if we had a fire going right now, we'd be yeah. enjoying this more. It is not something you could drink every day. Uh -uh. There no. is a lot going on in this yeah. that is very spice oriented. Yeah. Um, my tongue is, uh, it's its very numb right now. Yeah. So I'm going to stumble over my words here. What but are you doing? Let's, do you want to talk about what it is? Should we guess? Yes, it's time. It's my, okay, my turn. Uh, I'm gonna say that it's a rye. I'm gonna say that it is a finished rye. Okay. Um, I don't know what it's finished in. I wouldn't say it's a wine barrel. It's something unusual. Very spicy, very weird. And I'm still gonna say that it's low proof. Yeah. The intensity was all on the spice side and the flavor side of things, not on the proof side. So I'm gonna go, I'm going low. I, I think I'm gonna go like 90 proof. Oh my gosh, I was gonna say 90. Really? I, yeah, I, I, I was could, totally gonna say 90. I could be convinced it's under 90 because even with all those flavors, all that intensity. No heat. No heat whatsoever. So I, I know. If, you're, I could, if you'll I, go 90, I'll go 88. I know, I could almost go like 80 to 85, but I feel like it has to have, it has to be at least 90. I think it's a finished dry. The maple coming through, it might be maple. That's where, mm. that's where I'm going. Maple finished dry 88 proof. I actually like that because as you were talking, the finish, which I said it was very short, there is a sticky mapley flavor that lingers around. Sticky is a great way to describe yeah, it. Yeah, it's. I think with all of this, the sugary, cinnamony spices and yeah. that maple, like that's what you get on the finish. I'm also was gonna go 90. I'm definitely going rye on this one. Yep. I'm not a brand person, so I'm not really sure about that one. I but have no idea who would make something like this. When in doubt, you guess MGP. So that's probably what I would do it, here. But it's it, not super spicy like a 95.5 rye. No, and it definitely tastes like bring this out at Thanksgiving and Christmas. Completely agree with or that. Or whatever holiday this you is an, <laughs> This is a digestive for sure. Yeah. Tell us what we're drinking here, Jules. I can't wait to find out. Trusty phone. Holy smokes, there's so much spice in there. Yeah, that, that finish is lingering more and more now. So this five sip is Angel's Envy Rye. Finally wow. got a rye. Interesting. <laughs> After like a whole season of missing the rye. <laughs> you nailed do, this one. Yeah, I'm gonna do my best on this one. It's AKA Drowning, and I believe it's French Toast. There's a photo, so that's what I'm trying to read French right now. French Toast, wow, yes. It is a finished rye, go Phil. And it's a rye whiskey finished in Caribbean rum cast. Oh, oh that explains a lot actually yeah. wow okay and what's it can you see the proof on there oh boy oh my gosh it's a hundred proof so it's warmer than we wow. thought and i thought it actually drank I, maybe it was this the maple cinnamon but i thought it drank like an 80 proofer so we were off on the proof it if i can read this correctly it is a hundred proof i'm going to show you the beautiful photo Tim from Mississippi, that is a trickster sample. Very difficult, very fun. We love that on Five Sip Friday. Yeah. Thank you so much for this awesome sample, which we enjoyed in this awesome place. I'm feeling a little like, not vindicated, but I'm like, at least I didn't mess up my bourbons and rides this week. Oh, That's so embarrassing. It's okay to be vindicated. <laughs> that actually felt pretty good and it yeah. tasted, well, my honest opinion was it's definitely whiskey. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much, Tim, from Mississippi for the sample and from wherever we are. To wherever you are. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's totally French toast. I'd like to eat this French toast. <laughs> Not drink it. <laughs>